Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and a viewer question that is um, interesting in itself because it happens from time to time even more often than we actually see. And the question is how come there are security flaws in Windows that can be there for years before anyone notices isn't there a way of, you know, scanning or looking at the code and and seeing flaws as we go through Windows or any operating system? Because it's not unique to Windows. This is every operating system can have a flaw that's been there for ages and suddenly it's fixed. And then you'll know that, oh, this has been going on since 2015 or, or even older. Uh, this has to do with the complexity of understanding or, you know, uh, of, of coding. Um, remember that, first of all, for all of those saying, well, you know, it's, some, it's not normal that systems have security flaws. Um, it is. It's, it is simply because of one fact, that the code is written by humans. And even though they test it, even though they look at it as much as they can before releasing the code to Windows or any operating system, what happens is that it's easy to not see that there is an actual flaw. Something could happen in that code that would actually breach your computer, mean somebody could actually get access to your computer and do what it wants. Uh, and as long as humans will be involved in the process, it's always going to be like that because nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes and actually within the operating systems, Linux, Mac OS, Windows, there are probably hundreds and hundreds of actually security flaws that have never been discovered that are still lying there in the code waiting for someone to discover it. So the process of discovering a flaw is also complex because not only do you have to examine the flaw or examine the code, but you have to create specific environments, you know, you got to look at a specific thing that you can do that might crash the code, for example. And that, well, it's a lot of trial and error, looking at the different, um, you know, sides of the code inside Windows, inside software, and trying different things, trying to exploit or create an environment or a moment where that code has a f that flaw in it. And Security researchers actually spend, you know, countless hours, days, weeks, months in just trying to find anything that would be insecure. They will often go to specific points where they know that there are more chances of important weaknesses, but, you know, it can happen everywhere. And so a flaw can be in a module within the operating system and it'll be there for 10 years and that same module not modified because a lot of the code from windows 10 for example or windows 11 is also very similar to some within windows 8 and windows 7 there are things that are imported from you know windows xp until now they're modified they're often kind of upgraded but the underlying code and way of working is still very similar and that means that if that code taken from Windows XP survives up to Windows 11 and it has a flaw, well, then you just discovered a flaw across all the different versions of Windows that is common to it. So there are flaws that are very specific, and we see it in Windows 11 and Windows 10. When there's security patches, there are security patches that fix things in one very specific aspect of the operating system. So you'll have that fixed for Windows 11, but not for Windows 10. Why? Because that code has been modified and it's only in that system that there's a flaw. Underlying code in general is for several systems. You know, I talk about how unsecure and, and uh, impossible to keep safe is it is to use Windows 7. Anybody thinking that an antivirus and all the security in the world is there to help you doesn't understand security at all because you probably are hit by some form of hidden code that is 
spying on you, trying to steal passwords and so on. And you don't even know it. And your antivirus doesn't even see it. The underlying code is often um, shared. So a lot of Windows 10, Windows 11 code that has flaws. When you look at it, often it, you just go back in time and you're like, oh, Windows 7 has the same flaw. Or Windows 8 has the same flaw. Uh, because a lot of the code, once again, is with slight modification, mostly shared between systems. And un unless they rewrite completely a certain part of the operating system, well, you know, it stays the same for a long time. A lot of the um, security flaws also is um, often found by accident. They're, you know, you're doing something, you're trying to code something, and suddenly, boop, your system just crashed. You just had some kind of, you know, corruption in the memory or so on. And you just know that, oh, you can probably use this to exploit uh, the operating system. So it's extremely difficult. And you would be surprised at probably the hundreds and hundreds of security flaws within Mac OS, within Linux, has been lingering there in the code for years still there today that at some point somebody would probably find some of them and disclose and say oh there's this flaw now they're discovered and and this has been going on for a long time it is part of coding and these operating systems like windows are extremely complex systems so it's easy to you know not see that the code that you just written that does a wonderful job at what it wants to do might have a flaw that can be exploited at some point. And this is why every month there are several fixes for dozens of flaws. And in these dozens of flaws, there are some that have been there for a long, long time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.